Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the Speaking Booth. Today I'm joined by Naveed Ilyas Saya and Ahmed Saya. Naveed is the CEO of Reveal Pakistan. He's a member of the Harvard Business Publishing. He's the author of uh, Marketing and Management. He's got a book on uh, marketing management. And in his leisure time, he teaches marketing to MBA students. And he is a renowned corporate trainer and has trained over 14,000 individuals in Pakistan. Ahmed Saya, who you might already know, is the COO of Reveal Pakistan. And he was recently awarded the world's most dedicated teacher award by Cambridge University Press in association with Cambridge. And he's also a renowned educationist and has been teaching over the past 18 years. And the school for underprivileged kids, known as the Bridge School, is run under the supervision of Ahmed Saya. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So, my first question would be, in accordance with this podcast, what is Reveal Pakistan? Uh, Reveal Pakistan is actually a psychometric testing company. Yeah. Uh, what we realize is uh, two different students are not same in any situation. I mean, हर बच्चे का अपना स्किल सेट होता है अपनी स्ट्रेंथ्स होती हैं वीकनेसेस होती हैं एप्टीट्यूड्स होते हैं इंक्लिनेशन होती हैं एंड एवरी चाइल्ड इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द अदर सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू रियलाइज वॉट क्वालिटी इज अ चाइल्ड प्रोसेसिस एंड वॉट विल बी हिज आइडियल करियर पाथ इन अकॉर्डेंस विद हिज क्वालिटीज रादर देन जस्ट लेबलिंग अ चाइल्ड टू बिकम अ डॉक्टर इंजीनियर और चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वी फर्स्ट आइडेंटिफाई वॉट इज गुड फॉर देम वॉट आर दे इंटरेस्टेड इन because the things they will be interested in they will in eventually excel in those things yeah. rather than forcing them a certain career option which they will not like throughout their life still do it just because of either peer pressure or parental pressure or because it seems to be a good career option rather than first finding out what is good for them and then doing it so psychometric testing is basically your blood test of your career yeah. and identifying how good you are at a certain thing yeah. and what good career option is inclined or related to it yeah exactly so uh, that's exactly what psychometric assessment is all about and uh, i think bahut important hai is is bare mein ke what's the thought behind it so first thing we need to understand is that it's not something which is new it is it's there for the last 150 years aaj har america school ke andar because i did my education from the us i did all my education and we were being sponsored by the us government to take all these kind of assessments yeah. ab wahan par ye hota hai na ki bhai jab aap 9th grade mein hai 10th grade mein hai the us government will take your assessment aur uske baad then they will tell you here i think this is good for you yeah. and then that shapes your life because again wo kehte hai na ki aap wo kaam kare jisme aapki strength hai hmm. then kamyabi ke chances zyada hai as compared to you just do something randomly because degree lena is not a problem you know it's it's about being successful all mbas do not end up becoming let's say a ceo of the company yeah. right all doctors do not become the most successful doctors in the world all teachers do not become the most successful teachers in pakistan or in the world so jo hamara thought tha reveal pakistan ke liye ke uh, when i was studying i had no idea what this was all about to be very honest and jab hum logo ne assessment kiya to aaya ke this is what you should do you should be in teaching marketing and this is what it is aur us waqt samajh bhi nahi aata tha ki kya hoga aur kaise hoga but eventually uh, we did our education and then jab samajh mein aaya then i came back to pakistan and uh, ahmed and i were having a discussion one defined day uh, and uh, hum log ye soch rahe the ki yaar kya kiya jaye pakistan ke liye because uh, you know sabse bada masla pakistan ke andar jo mujhe nazar aata hai wo ye aata hai Okay, students have to choose their career options yeah. at a very at a very early stage. अब जब early stage में करना है तो बच्चे ने क्या करना है? यार मेरे cousin ने ये किया था and he just bought a brand new car. Yeah. So I will do this because my cousin bought a car. Yeah. You know? Yeah. My my friend bought a house because he is a doctor. Yeah. Right? But it has nothing to do with that. You know? तो eventually क्या होता है कि वो उस राह में निकल जाते हैं या parent parental pressure होता है and that's where we started reveal pakistan in fact uske baad hamari ek bahut badi journey hai ahmed if you could like you know ke kis tarah se humne start kiya and then what happened hum kyunki navid ki schooling us se hui thi to he shared this ke humne to ye test diya tha government of america ki taraf se and hame fir pata chala hame ye career option lena chahiye yahan pe aisa kya hota hai matlab yahan pe kuch aisa nahi hota yahan pe hum decision lete hain मेरे घर वालों में से किसने कौन सक्सेसफुल है और उसने क्या किया भाई या मेरे दोस्त क्या कर रहे हैं 
या ओवरऑल किस चीज की डिमांड है सो इट ट्रिकल्स डाउन टू ऑलमोस्ट फोर फाइव बिग करियर ऑप्शन या डॉक्टर बन जाओ या इंजीनियर बन जाओ या चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट बन जाओ या जो है वो बस इसी तरह के पायलट बन जाओ बस इस तरह के चार पांच बड़े ऑप्शन निकलते हैं वॉट दे फेल टू रियलाइज इस के आर्टिस्ट भी तो बन सकते हैं टीचर तो बनना इज अ जो कुछ नहीं करता वो टीचर बनता है वो वाली सोच थी तो मैंने मैं, हम, हमारा डिस्कशन यही हुआ कि करियर ऑप्शन यहाँ पे तो एड हॉक बेसिस पे चूज किए जाते हैं इट्स नॉट स्टडीड कि हमें क्या करना है और फिर करा जाए हम क्या करेंगे जिस चीज में शायद पैसे बहुत ज्यादा कमाए जाते हैं वो करेंगे वॉट वी फेल टू रियलाइज इज हम वो चीज करें जिसमें हमें मजा आता है करने में क्योंकि जब हम मजे वाले काम कर रहे होते हैं हम अपना शौक पूरा कर रहे होते हैं तो हम एक्चुअली काम तो नहीं कर रहे हम तो अपना शौक पूरा कर रहे हैं और उस शौक को पूरा करते करते एक ऐसी सिनर्जी बन जाती है कि हमारा काम और हमारा शौक एक साथ हो जाए सो वी केम अप विद आइडिया कि सिंस साइकोमेट्रिक टेस्टिंग यूएस में होती है पाकिस्तान में स्टूडेंट लेवल पर तो बिल्कुल भी नहीं हो रही है सो वी केम अप विद आइडिया कि लेट्स डू इट इन फॉर पाकिस्तानी स्टूडेंट्स सो दैट द स्टूडेंट्स मेक एन इनफॉर्म्ड डिसीशन एन इनफॉर्म्ड वाइज चॉइस दैट वॉट दे शुड डू एंड वाई बैकअ बाई अकोमेट्रिक टेस्ट I feel like there's a hierarchy of jobs like career paths that you can choose from and in the Pakistani culture or society there are few jobs that are given a bigger hierarchy than the rest so considering the fact that their child could become a journalist let's for say that's looked down upon if it's compared to a doctor yeah, I love this question you know and I want people to ask this question yeah and and the reason is that uh, again what is your objective of working by the end of the day तो जैसे अहमद सेट के यार वेन योर पैशन बिकम्स योर प्रोफेशन यू नो यू एवरी डे ऑफ योर लाइफ हम उसको थोड़ा सा और रिफ्रेम कर लेते हैं एंड व्हाट इज ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑब्जेक्टिव इज आई शुड बी हैप्पी एग्जैक्टली ऑब्जेक्टिव आई शुड बी एबल टू मेक गुड मनी यू नो इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट वी हैव टू बी ऑनेस्ट अबाउट इट ऑब्जेक्टिव आई शुड डू समथिंग के लोग कहें कि यार काम करो तो इस जैसा करो यू नो दिस इज द थ्री बिग Objectives that anyone has when he or she wants to work. अब हम बात करते हैं कि आप अगर वो काम करें जिसमें आपका पैशन है बिकॉज हियर इन कराची हम बाहर बाहर की बात नहीं करते हम सिर्फ कराची की बात कर लेते हैं अगेन आई विल नॉट कोट द नंबर बिकॉज इट्स नॉट समथिंग विच इज राइट बट लोग कहते हैं कुक क्या करेगा पाकिस्तान में राइट मिस जुबैद तारक अल्लाह उनको जनत नसीब करे इफ यू लुक एट वॉट शी वॉज मेकिंग फॉर शो यू विल be shocked yeah. right so and she loved what she loved her job yeah so she loved what she is doing unke janaze mein kitne log the aap ye dekh lijiye so people respected her people loved her she made good money yeah. so that's what it is all about to find your passion people will respect you and wo three idiots wali baat jo hoti hai na ke kamyabi ke piche nahi bhago competence ke piche bhago because once you have the competence then everything will come after you so i think that is very important to understand and that's what reveal pakistan is all about ke we help in understanding and exploring your true potential uh, if i sum up into a word yeah. it's basically it gives basically it gives you a self satisfaction yeah so if you choose something which gives you self satisfaction yes. you'll excel in it exactly i i'm i'm really happy to talk about this because this has been a pressing issue for more than 40 50 years for for people who've always been in the education system long before cambridge even came along and and revolutionized the education system i feel like people were always inclined to that nomenclature ke hey, we need to get a job that's looked at and and if anyone were to talk about you that they they would keep that job at the center of of everything like your entire personality or or how you think doesn't really come into that and you you can't be summarized in that your job is what defines you and in that way people have been given these five four titles that will make you in an essence well adjusted that's that's not being well adjusted as you said being well adjusted is being happy with what you do and finding a a profession that you're passionate about that's i think it's like winning the lucky draw steve job ne ek baar kaha tha today is the last day of your life yeah you done what you wanted to do in this life if exactly. the answer is no then you need to change something yeah. whenever you wake up early in the morning do you feel like doing what you're doing if the answer is no you need to change something but unfortunately jab logo ko pata chalta hai ki unki strength kya hai it's too late 
For example, I do my bachelor's, I do my master's, I go to work for a big company in Pakistan yeah. or abroad. What do they do first? They do psychometric assessment. Yeah. And if you don't have the personality of becoming a good sales manager, no matter how good you are when it comes to knowledge, nothing is going to happen. Yeah. And I think it's very important that we should tell how it tests because it is not a jadu. Yeah. A lot of people think, how would you tell me what it is? Yeah. Right? Uh, as Ahmed said, ke, uh, it is more of uh, the blood test. Yeah. डॉक्टर जो है ब्लड टेस्ट देख के आपको बता सकता है बेहतर या बगैर ब्लड टेस्ट आपको देख के बता सकता है सो द थिंग इज विद यू नो सो आई विल बी वेरी ब्रीफली टॉक अबाउट द फ्यू टैक्टिक्स एंड देन प्रोबेबली वी कैन इलैबोरेट मोर इनटू इट तो सम पीपल आर वेरी इन्वेस्टिगेटिव दे हैव दिस आई ऑफ इन्वेस्टिगेशन राइट सम पीपल आर वेरी आर्टिस्टिक दे नो हाउ टू बी वेरी क्रिएटिव एंड ऑल सम पीपल आर वेरी कन्वेंशनल राइट सम पीपल आर वेरी इंट्रोवर्ट सम पीपल आर एक्सट्रोवर्ट Some people are social introvert. Some people are social extrovert. Some people act first. Some people think first. No. So there are like twenty-five different categories, and then each category has multiple variables. So there are more than fifty or sixty types of personalities that you can have. And here we are still not talking about your strengths and weaknesses and inclinations. And then there are over eighteen hundred career options, जो हमारे पास मौजूद होते हैं. So what this assessment does. is basically it finds out your ideal environment in which you would like to do again based on different questions and techniques that we have uh second it will find out what your personality is what your inclination is what uh, overall ideation that you have and then un sab ko combine karke it gives you two to three options and uh, the the best part is that you realize early in your life hmm. that what is the good option for you rather than as navid mentioned that if someone realizes that at the point when he ha- is done with his studies yeah. and then when he applies for a job and he gets into a psychometric test at that point in time and for example he has studied marketing throughout his life but his personality is that of an accountant yeah. and just talking about two major uh, fields that people choose from so uh, at that point in time it's very late to uh, change the career pathway so it's better that students at an early age realize that so it's very it's ideal that a student when choosing which subject combination he should take he should opt for this particular test at that point in time i in pakistan uh, usually students make this choice in grade 9 yeah. uh, that's the first point of contact where they need to choose and decide what uh, subject combination will they take will they go for sciences medical engineering or commerce or social sciences yeah. uh but at that point in time a student is too young to actually make that decision themselves yeah. so usually it's not a decision that they have taken by themselves it's either a forced decision yeah. or it's a decision that they have taken looking at other people yeah. so uh reveal pakistan reveal pakistan's first point of contact are the ninth graders when they are deciding mm-hmm. when yeah. uh, what career option or what subject combination they should take if someone has not gone through that process in 9th grade then 9th 10th 11th during that point in time he should take any point in time he should take this particular test if uh, a student is unable to take that then the next point of contact is when he is opting for his a level subjects because he is narrowing down, down his field further narrowing down his field when he is going for a levels and even if that is not done at that point in time then the last point of contact is when he is he is doing his a levels yeah. or yeah. at at the end ending stages of his a levels because now he will be opting for a university life yeah. and at that point in time a student needs to decide what special specialist uh, activities that he needs to do or what specialist subject combination he needs to take in his university because he needs to choose his majors so or there is a possibility that he might have been studying uh, sciences throughout his life but he is not well suited for it yeah. but he is well suited for let's say humanities or social sciences or fine arts then at that point in time he can change his career path yeah. so these are the three point of contact where ideally a student should have taken a psychometric test so that when in future he goes Uh, for a job and at the or he plans to start, start his own business uh he does he, he does not realize that he has taken the wrong boat yeah 
he is not on a wrong pathway yeah. because if you do not have a right direction all path will lead you there yeah. so it's very important that you realize where you are where you want to be and how to get there yeah. how to get there is a very important question and reveal pakistan helps you in deciding from where you are to where you want to be and with the help of career counselors we even channelize the route on how to get there exactly or just to summarize it thoda sa na a lot of people ask this question ke yaar mere jo wo sahab the mere cousin mere taaya mere chacha yeah. whatever the case is unhone to koi psychometric assessment nahi liya tha yeah. but he is very successful to hum unse ek hi baat kehte hain ke success by choice or success by excellence yeah. you need to understand second maine abhi ek road cross kiya aankh band karke koi gaadi nahi aayi mujhe kuch nahi laga can we make it a point ke yaar hamesha jab bhi road cross karna hai आप आंखें बंद कर लें अपने बिकॉज इट्स बेटर टू कीप योर आईज ओपन देन टू कीप योर आईज क्लोज एंड इट्स नॉट अ स्मॉल डिसीजन एक एक नाइन्थ ग्रेडर टेंथ ग्रेडर इलेवेंथ ग्रेडर की एक एवरेज एज होती है शायद फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन दैट्स उसी आसपास होती है देर अगर आप साठ साल की बात भी करें तो दिस डिसन इज नॉट जस्ट गोइंग टू हेल्प योर वन ईयर और टू ईयर्स या ए लेवल या कोई चॉइस के लिए इट इज गोइंग टू इम्पैक्ट फोर्टी ईयर्स ऑफ योर लाइफ और 40 इयर्स ऑफ वर्क लाइफ भी नहीं 40 इयर्स ऑफ इंटायर लाइफ बिकॉज अगर आप सक्सेसफुल हैं आप कामयाब हैं तो आप घर पे भी खुश रहेंगे अगर आप कामयाब नहीं हैं आप सक्सेसफुल नहीं आप फ्रस्ट्रेटेड हैं तो फ्रस्ट्रेशन वो घर पर भी आएगी सो दिस डिसीजन इज अबाउट द नेक्स्ट 40 टू 50 इयर्स ऑफ योर लाइफ एंड नॉट जस्ट फॉर 1 टू 2 इयर्स आई विल आई विल आल्सो ऐड टू दिस के लोग बात करते हैं वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस की अगर तो आप अपना वर्क एंजॉय कर रहे हैं ठीक है और आपको काम में मजा आ रहा है और आप ऑटोमेटिकली आपकी फ्रस्ट्रेशन घर पे नहीं होगी yeah. आप घर पे भी इंजॉय कर रहे होंगे आप घर पे भी सेटिस्फाइड uh, जाएंगे तो जो वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस है ना वो ऑटोमेटिकली क्रिएट हो जाता है इफ यू आर डूइंग द राइट थिंग तो वो जो कहते हैं ना आप पूरा दिन काम कर रहे हैं तो फैमिली लाइफ या आप पूरा दिन काम नहीं कर रहे तो वर्क लाइफ yeah. या आप सुबह उठे और आपका दिल नहीं चाह रहा काम करने जाने को तो इसका मतलब वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस उस वक्त नहीं है जब आपका दिल नहीं चाह रहा yeah. सुबह उठ के काम पे जाने को yeah. या ऑफिस से उठ के घर पे आने को yeah. अगर दोनों केसेस में ऐसा हो रहा है कि सुबह उठ के ऑफिस जाने का भी दिल हो रहा है yeah. और ऑफिस से उठ के घर पे आने का भी दिल हो रहा है तो आपका वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस बिल्कुल बेहतरीन चल रहा है हमारी and we have we are working with a lot of leading schools in pakistan and uh, we are also uh, integrating upwards and hum log kuch deals kar rahe hain for corporates ke jab corporate mein aap jayenge to us waqt bhi aapka psychometric assessment hoga so i think we are very proud to to partner with reeds college school and college and uh, hopefully this will benefit the students of reeds in a positive manner hmm. as they will be able to take informed choices I'm glad. I I have uh, two questions before I conclude. Mm-hmm. One would be if um if you were to integrate the psychometric testing at an early age, mm-hmm. say about like uh eighth grade. Yes. If you tried eighth grade, would it be because I assume everyone changes their mind at certain points in life. Everyone has an epiphany once in, once in a while. So you can one small thought can change your entire life. just as you said like about career choices at ninth grade so if you were to induct three psychometric tests throughout life i'd say one at ninth grade one at the end of o levels one in as probably one in a2 do you think there'd be more of a say confirmation of the process or would it not make a difference so uh, basically what happens is and i think that's what we were talking about mm-hmm. amesh a question that this is also one of the basic frequent question that is asked yeah. and that is personality does not change After six or seven years of your life, so जो आपकी personality form हो जाती है in the initial stage, yeah. it is exactly going to be same. In fact, we have done some testings जहाँ पर हम लोगों ने ये देखा है कि यार ninth में लो, tenth में लो, eleventh में लो, personality will not change. क्योंकि changing mind and changing personality are two different yes. things. Yes. Yeah. तो personality change नहीं हो रही है, सिर्फ mindset change हो रहा है. Okay. और तो वो mindset भी इसलिए develop हो रहा होता है क्योंकि आप अपनी personality के accordingly काम नहीं कर रहे थे initially. जैसे जैसे आप अपनी पर्सनालिटी के अकॉर्डिंगली काम करते हैं आपका चेंज ऑफ माइंड उसके इट इज इंटीग्रेटिंग टूवर्ड्स दैट एक्चुअली सो एज नवीद मेंशन कि अगर डिफरेंट स्टेजेस पे टेस्ट लिया जाए तो पर्सनालिटी एनालिसिस करियर ऑप्शंस पाथवे टू सक्सेस 
इज ऑलमोस्ट द सेम इज क्वाइट सेम इन फैक्ट हो सकता ये है कि भाई मैं अभी पढ़ा रहा हूँ राइट एंड देन इवेंचुअली आई मे थिंक यार आई कैन ऑल्सो ट्रेन एंड इवेंचुअली आई हैव दिस एपिफनी और आई गेट सम गुड प्लेटफॉर्म फ्रॉम वेर आई एम ट्रेनिंग तो मैं शायद ट्रेनिंग शुरू कर दूँ बट दैट डज नॉट मीन कि मेरी पर्सनैलिटी चेंज हो गई है टीचिंग एंड ट्रेनिंग एंड गाइडिंग ये सारा एक ही पाथवे है एंड देन यू कैन चूज एनी थिंग सो वन आई थिंक इससे हम एक और इंपॉर्टेंट बात बताते हैं कि वी डोंट रिस्ट्रिक्ट यू टू वन ऑप्शन वेन इट कम्स टू साइकोमेट्रिक असेसमेंट बिकॉज बहुत बार शायद वो ऑप्शन आपके लिए पॉसिबल नहीं होता एंड mm. बहुत बार शायद उसके लिए रिसोर्स नहीं होते और बहुत बार शायद ये होता है कि यू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड किया दिस इज वॉट आई वॉन्ट माई लाइफ टू बी लाइक तो यूजली वी गिव टू टू थ्री बिग ऑप्शन विच आर बेसिकली योर स्ट्रेंथ के हिसाब से एंड देन वी ऑल्सो टेल यू वॉट नॉट टू डू इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो वॉट टू डू बट इट्स मोर इंपॉर्टेंट कि क्या नहीं करना फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई थिंक यार आर्टिस्टिक थिंग इज समथिंग विच इज नॉट योर कप ऑफ टी तो वी विल क्लियरली टेल यू कि यार जो करना है कर लेना यार ये मत करना प्लीज बिकॉज वी डोंट सी दैट इन यू यू आर बिग इनफ टू हैव दिस पर्सनैलिटी एनालिसिस द पर्सनैलिटी विल नॉट चेंज अंटिल एंड समथिंग रियली बिग और ड्रास्टिक हैपन्स इन योर लाइफ एंड सो दैट्स हाउ दिस इज ऑल डन सो दैट्स केप्ट इनटू कंसीडरेशन दैट द पर्सनैलिटी कुड चेंज राइट नॉट मोर देन 0.5% अंटिल दिस कोई ट्रॉमा ना हो खुदा ना खास्ता द पर्सनैलिटी विल नॉट चेंज बट अगर खुदा ना खास्ता ऐसा होता है तो फिर देयर माइट बी अ नीड फॉर अ डिफरेंट साइकोमेट्रिक टेस्ट आफ्टर that particular khudana khasta incident has taken place that's a different story altogether but otherwise it the personality will not change one in a million we can easily say one in a million ke sath ye hoga ki unki personality 18 saal se 17 saal ki umar ke baad change hoga so um ek aakhri sawal if i were to take this test how would i have to go and take this test by reveal box one uh, all you need to do is register at reed schools and college yeah. for the psychometric test tell them that you want to get the psychometric test being done and uh, we'll have multiple sessions here uh, and uh, once uh, you will be nominated for the yes. test the psychometric test thing will be conducted by reveal pakistan uh, we will be providing with a detailed report of your personality uh, with the nitty gritties of what each terminology means yeah. uh, what impact does it have on your life uh, what are the habits of this particular personality uh we will go up to the extent that we'll tell, tell you that what fam- what famous personalities are associated with this type of a personality yeah. so that you have some kind of association or someone to look forward to that okay i am like this particular person but uh, we always tell the students that try to create your own idiosyncrasy yeah. uh you can copy someone you can try to be like someone but always try to get good things from those people you are trying to copy yeah. uh do not have just a single mentor have multiple mentors and take good things of all those mentors because if you will try to become exactly like someone yeah. you can never be best you will always yeah. be the second best yeah. because best is the person you are following or you are trying to exactly carbon copy yeah. that particular person so reveal pakistan helps you in identifying that particular personality or those particular mentors but then eventually you will need to do your homework that how to improve upon that so uh, the question that you asked is how to go about this test so once uh, at reads once you will be told that you are giving this psychometric test we'll conduct the test yeah. we'll generate a detailed report and then with the counselors of reads uh, along with them uh, we will be guiding you on how to choose your career path yeah. how what options you have what options you should not think as navid mentioned okay. and uh the uh, the career counselors or the guidance counselors will also guide you which college or university you locally and internationally you should apply to for that particular relevant course content you are fit for and just to add one more thing to uh, what i have said because ke core question hamare paas aata hai and i think wo bada important hai jawab dena uska ke test hoga to kya hoga yeah. because test hame lagta hai ke math test english test hoga economics test hoga whatever the case is this is the only test in the world for which you don't have to prepare exactly. because basically what it's doing is it's trying to understand how you act behave and react in a certain situation so aapke paas different cases honge case studies honge situations honge aapne a b c d mein se koi ek cheez choose karni hai and nothing is wrong so it it's okay to be a it's okay to be b it's okay to be c it's okay to be introvert it's okay to be introvert uh, extrovert exactly. because diversity is one thing that we need in this world so agar sare economists ban jate to baki kaam kaun karta 
राइट right? अगर सारे डॉक्टर बन जाते हैं तो बाकी काम कौन करता सो यू नीड डाइवर्सिटी वॉट वी आर डूइंग इज वी आर जस्ट ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड कि भाई दिस इज योर ओवरऑल साइको एनालिसिस दिस पर्सनैलिटी इज बेस्ट सूटेड फॉर दीज टू और थ्री ऑप्शन and then we'll guide you that way. so this is complete scientific process in which we profile you we have the profile of all the occupations in the world what matches best and there you go yes. that i think that's probably the most revolutionary thought in education since 46 uh, <laughs> um thank you for uh, joining me on this podcast i'll see you in the next one goodbye